have a spirit guide, probably more than one. And the fact that you're seeing this now means that they want to communicate with you more directly. So I'm going to show you how. Being able to communicate openly with your spirit guides is such an important resource to have, especially with all this stuff going on in the world. They can give you support, love, and guidance like that. Spirit guides also present themselves in many different ways. You could have an animal, an orb of light, a person or ancestor, or even a god or goddess type deity. I personally have a wolf spirit guide who's my protector and a small bird spirit guide who's my spiritual mentor. The easiest way to meet them and open up communication is through meditation and setting your intentions before you meditate to openly talk with your spirit guides. Odds are they'll be more than happy to start talking with you. Just remember that spirit talks in more of a whisper instead of a yell, so listen. Whoa, what does spirit want you to know? First card out, the stars. Oh, that's cute. Let me get some clarity really quick. Let me get some clarity really quick. I feel like you're, okay, wait, 10 of wands. Oh, you're on the verge of breaking free. I feel like you're about to have a breakthrough of some sort. In the chariot, wow. Okay, you are at the end of like a big cycle in your life and you are going towards something. Something is about to hit you like a fucking truck, but like in a great way, like in a really beautiful fucking way, like in a star way, in a healing way. You're about to feel really healed. Oh, this is like, oh, I feel so good. Oh, the energy is beautiful. Um, Exalt your reason to the height of passion. I feel like you are a bright light and your passion deserves to be out there. Express your I wonder what this link could possibly lead me to. Hi, I'm here with another witch tip. If you feel like the vibes are off in your house, take a lemon, cut it into four little wedges or two, works as well. Coat it in salt. Roll that baby in salt and place it throughout your house. Leave it there. Make sure it's out of reach of any children, dogs, whatever, you don't want someone to eat it. If it shrinks and dries up, the purification worked, dispose of the lemon. If it molds, you got some stank energy. Bury that shit, do it again. I would throw in a little woo smoke cleansing as well. How to practice intuition using a pendulum. Pick three cards from a tarot deck. Shuffle the cards with the notion that you're going to pick a certain card. I picked the magician. Then ask the pendulum where the card is. Look at you, strawberry blonde, fields rolling on. I love it when you call my name. Can you hear the bumblebee swarm watching your arm? I love it when you look my way. charms. Eating a pinch of thyme before bed will promote sweet dreams. Scattering chili peppers around your house can help break a curse. Place a couple of almonds in your pocket when you've lost something and you're trying to find it. Hang a bit of seaweed in your kitchen to ward off evil spirits. Placing basil at your windows, your front door, or scattering it around your house can help promote money. Stay tuned for part two. I got a lot of comments saying, Mayor, I don't have a lot of money. How can I witchcraft? I'm here to help you with low cost slash mostly free witchcraft options. Pour good intentions into your tea or coffee clockwise. Collecting rainwater. Dollar Tree is where I've gotten candles, snuffers, spell jar. Baby witches, make yourself some black salt. All you need for black salt is to grind up some sea salt with some incense, ash, or it can be ash, you know what I mean? Any ash that you have burned with the intention 
of protection. Grind up your sea salt and your blessed ash. Take it and sprinkle it all along the edges here of any entrance into your house. And if your spell calls for a candle color you don't have or a crystal you don't have, clear quartz can replace any crystal and white candles can replace any candle color. Witchy apps for baby witches, closeted witches, or just a cool system generally. So starting off, this app is really customizable. As you can see, it has a dark mode and even gives you an option to choose different decks. It also features this cute little avatar who you can level up as you learn. It's an awesome essential app dedicated to helping people learn tarot. Um, not only does it teach you the 78 cards, it also helps your ability to hear your own voice. It has over 24 spreads and it even offers like a journaling option where you can write down your thoughts and interpretations of specific cards and spreads. You can even set up reminders and its algorithm picks up on commonly pulled cards. Overall, I think it's a great app for people who already know how to read tarot or those interested in learning how to read tarot. And the best part about this app is that it's totally free, um, but do go ahead and support them. They do have a shopping option on their app. You take those lemons, no sugar at all, and you squirt it right into our eyes. When life gives you lemons, you don't make lemonade, you use them to make girls cry. You take those lemons, no sugar at all, and you squirt it right into our eyes. When life. Dominique, ni que ni que son allait tout simplement routier, pauvre et chantant. En tout chemin, en tout lieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu. À l'époque où Jean sans terre d'Angleterre était le roi, Dominique, notre père, combattit les albigeois. Dominique, ni que ni que s'en allait tout simplement, routier, pauvre et chantant. Today we're going to be creating a powerful money spell. This spell will help you manifest money into your life. First, we're going to cleanse the jar. Then we're going to add basil to bring abundance into our lives. Alfalfa to bring us good luck in the form of cash flow. Chamomile and three cloves to attract money our way. Pyrite, a powerful crystal to surround us in wealth. Ginger to amplify the energy that's within the jar. Money, since that is what we desire and 24 karat gold to also provide abundance, cash, and wealth into our lives. We're gonna melt green wax and we're gonna pour it over our jar. Remember, all spells first start with your intentions. This spell and others like it can be found in our Etsy store. Link is in the bio. Be blessed and follow for more. Stop. What the hell are you talking about? Get my pretty name out of your mouth. We are not the same with or without Don't talk about me like how you might know how I feel Stop. Five witchy activities to do at home Tips for baby witches Cleanse your bed when you wake up and when you go to sleep Light some candles that match your intention I follow you into the park, through the jungle, through the dark. Gotta never love one like Carry around a crystal you feel drawn to. Or where it is jewelry. Paint your nails the same color of your intention. I used pink for self-love. Nothing new is Journal or start your book of shadows. Five witchy activities to do at home tips for baby witches. Collect incense ashes. Huddle your crystals. 
Rob your kitchen and research the properties of the different herbs you find. Try to learn how to see your aura and research what its color means. Learn about the different types of witches and which ones resonate more with you.